Hey Chris, how are you sir? Anybody want to tell me what's happening here today? Well sure, we, uh, we're actually from Livingston County, representing Livingston County, but it's uh, to support the people that are trying to keep out the uh, industry from Seneca Lake Storage and the Salt Cavern, so we're here to definitely support that because we spend a lot of time down in this area, so that's why we're here. Please tell me uh, what's happening today, what's the significance of today? Well, the uh, Schuyler County Legislature has drafted a resolution in favor of gas storage on the west side of Seneca Lake. Um, this is in spite of the other three surrounding counties in the, uh, in the, around the lake that have drafted resolutions in opposition of this proposal. And it also flies in the face of the city of Geneva, which is the largest populated uh, city on the lake, who's drafted a resolution in opposition of this facility as well. Uh, furthermore, this is simply a symbolic resolution because the governor ultimately has the decision on whether or not to permit this project. But what it has done is it has made a mockery of the Schuyler County Legislature and they are essentially, if they vote in favor of this resolution, they are voting against their own constituents and hundreds of businesses and their business owners in their own community who collectively comprise the largest driving economic engine in the region and they're voting against those people tonight if they vote in favor of this resolution. There also happens to be a resolution that was uh, slipped in as well against the gas storage facility and we're hoping that our legislator uh, representatives tonight uh, make the right choice and vote along with their constituents who have loudly for three years opposed to this project. Signs? Not gonna happen. Not, will not get past this door. So if you have signs right now, whether it's the pink ones, the bigger ones, whatever, you need to go put them in your cars. If I see somebody dropping them on the ground, going to be arrested for littering. Okay? I think uh, all of you could probably uh, agree with that, right? Seeing how you're supporting this not going in, right? For the most part? All right, has anybody got any questions on any of that? How do I get just pass signs over to me? That's fine. That would be very preferred. Oh, thank you. All right, I want this to be a very civil meeting. All right. Uh, I don't think they said anything about the uh, t shirts Yeah, but then, okay, he can't wear that. You can't wear that. It doesn't matter. It's still a sign, right? It's still a sign. So if we're, if we're going to push that issue, then... All right, well, let's not do it. Yeah, let's not. Yes, they're business too. Anybody that's got anything written on a shirt, then technically. Understood. Did they say anything about the t shirt just the sign. Yeah. They're collecting signs. Okay, quick. Tell me about, um, tell me about Mr. These. Fagan, uh, and according to a, a July 2012 uh, article in the Legislative Gazette, Mr. Fagan's engineering company located in Elmira called um, Fagan Engineering. I was sort of revealed to be very heavily involved with fracking operations in Pennsylvania. So, uh, <clears throat> also in that article, uh, there was a statement that Fagan Engineering had actually run afoul of some of the regulatory environmental uh, laws and regulations in Pennsylvania. So, since this proposal by Crestwood to store gas in these unstable geologic caverns uh, is part of the fracking infrastructure build out. This, in the eyes of a lot of people, and I'm one of them, uh, indicates a conflict of interest.